Did you know that millions of people with atrial fibrillation, or AFib, are living with this ticking time bomb in their chest? In this video, we're uncovering the hidden connection between AFib and stroke. Stay tuned, because understanding this link could save a life. Atrial fibrillation is an irregular and often rapid heart rhythm that originates in the atria, the upper chambers of the heart. Normally, the heart's electrical system ensures a regular, coordinated contraction of the atria and ventricles, efficiently pumping blood throughout the body. In AFib, this system goes haywire, causing the atria to quiver instead of contracting properly. Let's quickly review how a normal heartbeat works. The sinoatrial SA node, located in the right atrium, acts as the heart's natural pacemaker. It sends electrical impulses that travel through the atria, causing them to contract and push blood into the ventricles. This process is orderly and coordinated, ensuring efficient blood flow. In AFib, the electrical signals become chaotic. Instead of following a smooth path from the SA node, the impulses are rapid and disorganized. This causes the atria to fibrillate or quiver rather than contract forcefully. As a result, the atria cannot effectively move blood into the ventricles. Here's where the trouble starts. The ineffective contraction of the atria leads to poor blood flow, causing blood to pool, particularly in the left atrial appendage, a small ear-shaped pouch in the left atrium. When blood remains stagnant, it tends to clot. This is a natural defense mechanism to prevent bleeding. But in this case, it can have dangerous consequences. The left atrial appendage is especially prone to clot formation in AFib patients. Its shape and structure make it an ideal spot for blood to pool and stagnate. The clots that form here can break loose and travel through the bloodstream. When a clot, also known as an embolus, leaves the heart, it can cause those serious problems. If a clot breaks free from the LAA, it travels through the bloodstream. The journey of an embolus can end in disaster if it reaches the brain. When an embolus lodges in one of the brain's arteries, it blocks blood flow to that part of the brain, causing an ischemic stroke. This is the most common type of stroke and can lead to severe disability or death. Now, let's break down the pathophysiological processes in more detail. The turbulent blood flow in the fibrillating atria contributes to blood stasis, promoting clot formation. There are three key factors involved. First, endothelial dysfunction. The inner lining of the heart, or endothelium, can become damaged due to irregular blood flow. This damage makes the surface more prone to thrombus formation. Next, inflammatory response. AFib is associated with increased levels of inflammatory markers. Inflammation further enhances the blood's tendency to clot by activating clotting pathways and attracting platelets. And lastly, hypercoagulability. AFib often leads to a hypercoagulable state. Changes in blood composition, including elevated clotting factors and platelet activation, contribute to an increased risk of thrombus formation. Preventing stroke in AFib patients involves several strategies. Anticoagulants, such as warfarin and direct oral anticoagulants, are commonly prescribed. These medications reduce the blood's ability to clot, significantly lowering stroke risk. Rate and rhythm control. Medications or procedures to control the heart rate and rhythm can help reduce the symptoms and complications associated with AFib. Next, left atrial appendage closure. In some patients, Procedures to close off the left atrial appendage may be recommended to prevent clot formation. Adopting a healthy lifestyle, including a balanced diet, regular exercise, and avoiding smoking and excessive alcohol consumption can reduce the risk of stroke, causing an ischemic stroke. Understanding the pathophysiology of AFib and implementing preventive measures is crucial in reducing stroke risk. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more medical insights. Stay healthy and stay informed.